Hello and welcome to My Security TV. My name is Chris Cubbage and we're at AusCert 2012, an information security conference on the Gold Coast. I'm joined by Merrick Carmen, the Chief Technology Officer for M5 Network Security. Merrick, thanks for joining me. You're welcome. Merrick, uh, M5 uh, Network Security, maybe just talk us through exactly what the company does uh, and some of the products uh, that you've got on showcase here. Yeah, so M5 uh, has been around for a little while. We, we were formed in uh, 2002. Uh, we're a group of uh, security professionals working out of Canberra. Um, our focus is actually being at Auscert here, it's cyber security, and uh, we run a number of business lines. We uh, help our predominantly government clients solve complex uh, cyber security problems by helping them integrate their uh, off-the-shelf uh, and custom-developed security solutions into an overall framework that allows them to uh, protect, better protect their networks. Uh, we also uh, do a lot of work in high-end analytics using uh, uh, high-end tools like Hadoop and uh, large-scale, um, I guess, information supercomputers, things like the Nateza uh, analytics supercomputer to help some of our customers. But the majority of our work is around uh, uh, product design for our uh, secure communication systems or SCS product range. Uh, the SCS 100, 200 and 400 are essentially devices which allow uh, secure communications for uh, typically military or intelligence or, or to a lesser extent general wider government users to allow them to communicate via the internet uh, back to the secure networks. Now you're probably asking why can't you just do that with a VPN but um, it's a little bit different. Our devices um, basically encompass everything uh, that a flyaway kit or a liaison officer briefcase system as they were once called, um, it's all encompassed in one small box now. So everything you need in terms of 4G, 3G modems, Wi-Fi, ADSL, uh, Ethernet, uh, power and a touchscreen command and control system to allow what is a, a fairly complex um, task to, to obtain secure mesh communications over the internet to be carried out by a non-technical user. So this sort of device allows uh, a senior officer, a liaison officer, um, a planning team to um, push out into whatever field, wherever they're going and achieve that communications without the assistance of, uh, of a technical uh, communications officer. So basically, in simple terms, it fully encrypts that, that communication link? Correct. Um, for low-level security, you are protected in confidence-level security. Uh, the device is good enough as it is, but for higher-grade uh, defence or intel networks, you would need to couple this with a high-grade crypto item, uh, something like the uh, the Catapan. So this pair of devices, it's essentially think of this as the ideal accessory for high-grade crypto. So this makes high-grade crypto easy to use and easy to work with in the field um, using you know, the internet as a bearer instead of traditional satellite-based comms and ISDN comms, which is the world that we're leaving and moving into you know, public IP. And the difference between maybe software encryption and hardware encryption? So uh, it's a level of surety, basically. Uh, software level encryption can deal with uh, networks up to say the protected level um, where we need high grade um, assured crypto for uh, secret and top secret networks so the general government and commercial space a combination of the two uh, to deal with high security right and are you finding that in addition to uh, organizations based in canberra federal government uh, defence and, and military. Mm -hmm. Are you finding that enterprises are picking these up as well and even to take you know enterprise security whether it's a, a large multinational dealing with IP you know what level yeah. of security should they be introducing and are these products within their range to start to use? Okay so the SES range is, is clearly targeted at that higher end requirement for government security however we have produced a variant of this device um, targeted at the uh, mining and uh, SCADA, national critical, national critical infrastructure segment, um, where they're really looking for an easy to use all-in device that provides the encryption, provides the network communication, provides more, most importantly the cyber security. We, 
we're a cyber security company and here we are producing a communications device. We are in fact um, making each one of these communications devices a cyber security protection point and a sensor as part of a network. So for example, uh, a customer who has a traditional uh, wide area network might have a dozen sensors in play looking at the traffic flowing through the, the systems. Each one of these adds an extra element to that visibility right out at the tactical edge or at the uh, you know, national critical infrastructure edge. So in a substation or uh, in a switchboard or at a mine site in the commercial context or uh, with a deployed liaison officer, with a deployed um, planning team um, or for home and for homework or senior officer travelling type communications with this, uh, with this device as well. And does it do any more than secure that communications link? Is it out there looking at potential uh, access? So if you, if you think this device uh, takes the place of the traditional router in that it has the 3G uh, component, the Wi-Fi component, the ADSL component, the Ethernet ports. It takes the place of the traditional firewall in that it has firewall rules and policies able to be applied. Uh, it takes the place of an IDS uh, unit in that it has an IDS IPS functionality built into it. It has the ease of use through the touch screen because everyone's used to using a modern smartphone and this uh, acts like that. It has uh, you know, battery power, DC power and AC power. It, so it provides all of that in one very small, uh, in one very small package. And my team uh, here in, uh, in, Can well, in Canberra, we're based, uh, we develop all of this. So it's, a, it's, a, it's Australian uh, developed and uh, all of the industrial design, all the electronics, all the software, everything is done by my team. Great. And so it's an Australian research and development company. Correct. And now, actually, you know, and now we, we've we've achieved our first sales into both into the US. Uh, we've achieved sales into the UK. We've also achieved sales into NATO, as well as significant sales here in Australia. So we're we're uh, very happy with how that's going and uh, uh, quite proud of the fact it's all been developed uh, and manufactured here in Australia. And Merrick, one question is: Why aren't traditional routers? being designed like this anyway? Why are routers being used? I mean, I made, I made the statement before about, you know, combining a router, an IDS, a firewall, everything into one device. But that's clearly for a tactical and mobile use case. I would, you could not, you would not use this in where you would use a traditional router, firewall or IDS. Because at the edge of a tactical network, you've got a very small pipe, a very low data rate. So you're, you're talking to a hotel, internet system or a BGAN satellite or a 3G, very low bit rate, so we can do very much more than on a small bit stream. Whereas if you're in the, a data centre, clearly you need large purpose-built firewalls, large purpose-built routers, switches, etc. So this is a combined box that is targeted at that mobile tactical user. or mobile user. And the NMS? So. Um, these devices perform a, a very important role in the field. They are very easy to use with an individual using the device. But it's very important to allow a fleet of these devices to be supported by uh, the agency that's deploying them. So the NMS is all about that central piece of software that allows a watch, uh, the watch construct or the 24 by 7 network operations centre to support all these devices in the field. So the NMS is all about visibility, what's going on, what uh, bearers are being used, how much data is being pushed, um, even how much a particular uh, deployment is costing because we know in real time what bearers are being used and what the costs associated with those bearers are. So it's, um, it provides all of that plus the ability to reach out and support these devices in the field, to reach out and patch these devices in the field and to manage things like QoS and routing on these devices in the field. So individual user interacts with the touch screen but the Network Operations Centre can manage a fleet of these and deploy rules and patches and things like that to the devices. So the NMS is, I guess, the centre or the heart of the system that allows a fleet of these to be managed. This Australian-made, uh, Australian-invented product, what's your point of difference? What are you, or, or what are we doing better uh, than, than, say, other foreign, uh, foreign nationals? I guess, um, 
the driver behind this or the differentiator is size and weight. It's all about getting the thing down as small as possible, making it, um, you know, just drop it in your uh, bag with, along with your laptop and your other bits and pieces and uh, making it as easy to use as possible uh, through the uh, colour touchscreen. So you know, the average senior user now is well versed in driving a, a modern smartphone, so presenting that same sort of interface to make it easy to use. So that's a key point of differentiation. Size and weight is the other. And a full meshed communication using public IP systems like the internet to achieve what was previously only available to dedicated satellite and ISDN links. Merrick, how long has this been on the market? So the 200, uh, about um, eight months, this one just recent, recently, in fact, uh, and only in the last month has this gone production and started shipping to clients. Uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's quite new. It's certainly uh, latest technology. And as I, as, as I mentioned, developed here in, uh, in Australia, manufactured in Australia. And you have a, a range of hardware encryption products, so basically, uh, M5 Network Security is a company that you can come to for high grade, uh, highly protected and above uh, products uh, to secure your communications? Correct. Yep. Uh, ease of use, as I said, being the key. So, Well, all the very best. It's, uh, it's a great product. I've not seen anything like it before. So uh, the fact that it's come from Canberra uh, is, is even more, more pleasing to hear. Very good. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thanks.